Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is competition day part 3 and today we are going to learn about target encoding. Target encoding is also a useful feature engineering technique but you have to be really very careful with that. In my previous video I explained how to make features from categorical variables by using pandas group by but there was a little bit of a mistake there, actually a blunder. So I have deleted that part. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you do target encoding and create those kind of features that were discussed previously in the right manner. So you have to be really very careful when you're creating features like this because you can overfit very easily. You will get very good score on your validation set, but it's not going to perform very well on the test set. So let's look at the code that we have here. It's the same old code that we have been dealing with everything in one cell, just like the previous video. And now in this one, what, what I have is I have ordinal encoder for the object columns and the rest of the columns are used uh, just like that. So we don't per perform any kind of processing on those columns. So now we will do target encoding and target encoding be very careful and see what I'm doing. So we go through each and every column in uh, object columns, in object underscore columns. And let's hide this part for now. Or, or we can just move this part to the next cell. Let's take all this and move it to the next cell. So uh, we have a clean cell here. And now I will create a temporary list to store the data frames. So temp df, which is an empty list. And I will also store temp feature, some kind of temporary feature for the test set. Temp test beat, and that is none. So we start with an empty list of data frames. That is our training data frames. And we start with the none feature for the test set. And now we write for fold in range five. So we do the same thing or similar thing when we train the model. So we have the X train and X valid. And here we have the same X train and X valid. And now I will do a simple group by. So I will write Pete equal to DF dot uh, DF. Uh, dot group by and here I can write column the column in concern and then I can use any column so that's what I showed you in the previous video so I can just do column and then aggregate mean so it will give me mean value of the values in the same column so how does it look like let's see let's print Pete and I want to run it only for um, one column so I will just add a break here. So let's see how this looks. Okay, so it takes time because it needs to read the data. So we, I guess we have something wrong. Okay, uh, add count so because we cannot take mean, right? So in each fold, it's giving me the count of A and count of B, count of A and count of B in each fold. And it seems to be the same in each fold, which is fine. And instead of uh, the column column, I can also do cont one. So continuous one, and it gives me the mean value. Okay, so here are the mean values. And they are also all the same. It's a huge data set. Maybe that's why. Sorry. I'm doing a mistake again here. I should not write DF. It should be X train. So that's my mistake. And that's why all the values are same <laughs> as usual. So now you see some uh, difference in values. So from first fold or zero fold, four, six, one, four, six, one, three, nine, nine, four, six, one, five, three, three, four, six, one, four, three, seven. So the values differ a little bit. Um, Let's do the other one again. So here it was call and dot ag count. So we're creating count aggregations on the same column. And now we have some difference in values. 
so one five four four nine seven one five four six one four and so on okay so now you know how this feet was created now let's convert this feet to dictionary feet equal to feet dot two underscore uh, dict and it gets converted to a dictionary and let's print it print what we have it's the same thing but now it's in a dictionary so it's more useful to us so when it's more useful so now what we can do i can write x valid dot lock all columns and the new feature name my new feature name is uh let's say um continuous underscore or uh so since since we are using since we are grouping by on column and this counting aggregates for the column values we can also do continuous as i showed you or we can also do target and that's called target encoding so uh, now here i can write target enc underscore uh here i have um column name and uh, here i can write x valid column dot map so it's going to map these values just like i showed you during the titanic challenge a male equal male zero female one in a dictionary and then it maps the values i will show you what's happening here and then you write feet and here if i print x valid dot head let's see what i get so i will get multiple x valid right so i have the target encoding here 85503 for cat zero uh instead of count we will take mean now so we don't want to count right we want to take mean of the target for each value so let's see it again so i got mean value of these targets they differ a little bit and uh, in the second fold uh, again they, there's a little bit difference in the third fold a little bit of difference okay so now you get the idea so every x valid of every fold is derived from the training fold right and um, if it's difficult just look through the code one more time and you will know what's happening so now i do temp underscore df dot append uh, x valid okay and i also say if my temp test feature is none then my temp test feature so i'm reassigning the variable is equal to the same thing but for uh, df underscore test so i will take df underscore test column dot map and feature okay and if it's not none so if it's none what does it mean that i'm in the very first fold fold zero if it's not none i will take the same thing and i will instead i will add the value okay so now i have added the value okay so far so good and now when i'm done with all the folds i will say temp test feature divided by equal to five since i have five folds so i'm calculating the uh, target encoding for test data in each fold and then i'm dividing it by five so i'm adding them all and dividing by five taking a mean of all the mean target encodings and then i will write df underscore test dot lock all rows the same name f target enc column equal to temp test feet get it similarly now my temp df has all the x valids for each fold so my new data frame will become df equal to pd dot concat uh, temp underscore df so this will be my new data frame now so how does it look like let's run for one loop of let's run it for one column and now my df underscore test has this target encoding cat zero so this is the target value but derived from the training data of one fold of all five folds and then averaged 
and if I do df, so if this is this sample is k4 equal to zero, this is not derived from zero. So now we are safe. Otherwise, we have target leakage. So this is something that you have to remember. Now we did all this, and uh, we can again update our uh, variables. And I will just take the simple way. So let's run it for all columns. So let's run this again. Let's run this again. And my useful features are C for C and DF columns. Okay, uh, that's fine. So now we cannot use this. If call dot starts with cat. So if it starts with cat, then it's an object column. It does not need to contain cat. Great. So this is done. Uh, now if you see df dot head, it has a lot more columns. So all the target encoding for each and every uh, categorical variable that we have. And you can do it with any other variable if you want. But I did it with target. You just need to be careful. You have to do it out of fold. And now we run our uh, model as uh, as it is. So just like previously. Okay, so now this, either the score will improve or it's going to remain the same. You need to play around with the parameters. So there's a lot of thing that needs to be done. But this is target encoding for you. Instead of target, you can select any other column. Instead of mean aggregate, you can select any other aggregate you want. You can do median, max, min, whatever. It's up to you and then see uh, what works for you. Great. So it seems like in this fold, we are getting a very high RMSE value. Something might be wrong with target encoding. But I think we have done it in the right manner. So everything is correct. Take a look. Um, just remember, you have to do everything out of fold. So that's it for today. This is target encoding. And I hope you like the video. If you do, click on the like button, do subscribe and do share. And see you in the next part.